So this is a quick video showing my modified version of how to get something like this in SolidWorks from free views like these. Uh, there are tutorials on YouTube already. This is a modification to how those ones are done. So I'm going to skip over some of the more obvious things and just show the differences. So if we go to the right view, you'll see that I've got a sketch following the profile of the fuselage. If I hide that picture, you see that there. I also have the same thing on the top. So the idea of this is you add sketches along the length of the fuselage and then you will then loft those to produce this. But in the tutorials it doesn't really cover in any nice way how to deal with the fact that this top sketch diverges from where it should be on the right sketch. So the way I resolve that if I go to the right side I put another sketch in Where the high rates of change are, I have these lines going from the top to the bottom. Anywhere where there's a high rate of change, you want more lines. When there's low rate of change, you don't need too many. And then with those lines, I connect them with a the spline through the midpoints. I can delete that line and do that again. So I'll grab the spline. When you get close on these, the midpoint will show up. So it doesn't have to be in the midpoint between the top and the bottom. It will depend on the fuselage of the plane. But you'd be aiming to put it where it, the fuselage is its widest to get the best results. There's the midpoint. So on most round sort of fuselages, that's going to be the middle. Now this, this is a bit rough on this model, but I have finished modelling this and it works pretty fine. But if you're not happy with some spots in it, you could modify the spine a bit. But I'm going to leave that as is. So now we've got a, a line representing the midpoint of the fuse. So what we're going to do, because ideally we want four points around where there should be, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude that into a surface. Where are we? Just going to make it 200 each side because that clears the fuse. So now in addition to the two sketches, we have this plane through the middle. What comes next is I will pick that top sketch. Oops, I'll pick it here as the trim tool for a surface trim when I find it. We will remove the selections. So we now have a plane that more or less goes through the midpoint that is bound by the top sketch. Now I'm actually going to do the same thing again to get a vertical plane happening here. I already have a sketch on an appropriate plane that goes the length. So we'll do the same again. We'll extrude it top and bottom. We will pick.
pick our right, well actually we don't need those midpoint lines anymore, we'll pick our right sketch for the trim tool, surface trim, we'll get rid of that. So we now have two surfaces perpendicular to each other, and pretty well fill in the meaty parts of the fuselage structure. So it meets up nicely here at the tail. I'm going to unhide my planes that I've put in earlier. So these are actually planes that I think I need to get a nice accurate loft. So if I pick plane one, start the front. I think I can go intersection curve straight up. And I want to do my two planes. I now have a cross right on the front. So I can actually go edit that sketch. I can turn those into construction lines. And as per other tutorials for doing this sort of conversion, I can just go drop my spline. Try that again. I can just go drop my spline on those points. But unlike some other tutorials, that's it. I don't have to pierce the any sketches. It's all good to go. So I can do that here if get out of that sketch. I can uh, as well go in here anyway. Those to construction lines to get them out of the way. Chuck a spline around it, and so on. And all I can even do this all the way up here at the back. those. Yes, thank you. Oops, missed that. There we go. Okay, so it's a piece of cake to do those sketches for the length. Once you've got all those done, full loft. So there they are in there. I haven't tried it but I imagine if your fuselage is a little square you could probably actually put a couple of planes in. Maybe. Not sure. But it works perfectly fine for fairly simple fuselages. And that's the end of the video.